Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Hoop and I am back and I have a quick uh, three fixes to fix your H1Z1 from not launching. When you launch H1Z1, there will be a little um, notification popping up saying that there's something that is not initializing. And I'm just going to show you guys the three different ways that you guys can fix this. One of them is, uh, so I'm just going to show you what happens here. So it says, failed to initialize battleized service, Windows testing signing mode not supported. Okay, so if you're basically, if you're getting this, there's three ways to fix it. One is bring up your task manager. And in your task manager, you'll see BE service, uh, alphabetical, BE service right here. It's stopped working. What one of, gonna, one of the ways you'll have to do is to fix it is when... You have it, oh, it closed down on me. When you have it up, you have to, and you clicked play on it to play the game, you have to stop the service, or start the service and stop the service. Right now it's not working. So we'll hit play, and then we'll go start the service. Start the service. Okay, now it's running, and then you'll have to, you'll wanna close this down and then relaunch it. And that has worked for some people. However, it hasn't worked for me. And then the other way is by going into, <clears throat> going into your C drive, uh, program files, x86. Then you're gonna to wanna to go into common files, and then you're gonna to go to battle eye and you're gonna delete the BE service H1Z1. What that is is basically it's the battle eye um, protection from hacking program. And when you delete that, all it does is it just removes it from your computer. It's completely safe. And when you launch H1Z1 again, it'll say, oh, you, you don't have this service. Can we um, start a new one? If you say no, you can't play the game. If you say yes, it'll download a whole new one like this. Okay, and then the other issue is if that doesn't work. Okay, so that should work for some of you. And the ones that it's not going to work for is means that your Windows is in test mode and how to fix that. And this is the final one that finally actually I got it working for me. So you go into your run, you type in CMD, CMD, and you don't just click on it automatically. You have to right click on it, go run as, as administrator, allow yourself to give permission. And um, then you're gonna have to type in, okay, so then you're gonna have to type in this, now follow exactly what I do, and it's B C D E D I T space dash set, and then the rest is gonna be capitals, T S T S I G N I N G off. That means that your Windows is it for some reason is in test mode. Now the reason mine is in test mode is because it works for my headset. The only way I can get my headset to have um, 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound is by having this assigned. So you click it off and you reboot your computer. So I'll, I'll just show you that it works. All right, so it was successfully done. And I'm gonna restart my computer and come back and launch and launch the game for you and show you that it works. Okay, now we've just restarted our computer. The testing mode for Windows 7 is now off, and if you have Windows 8, you can run the same processes. It's pretty much the same thing. And uh, you should be able to launch H1Z1 now. So we're going to launch it, and there we go. It is now successfully ran through, and H1Z1 is now launching. I hope that helped you out. I hope that solved all of your issues. And if it has, please subscribe. I have a few other tutorials. I mainly do gameplay videos. And uh, come check me out. All right, this is Lex Coop saying, rate, comment, subscribe. Do to do skid douche. Recording software. And this one is going to be on Shadowplay by NVIDIA. And you have to have a NVIDIA graphics card that is under the criteria. Now you have to have... So you need to have a, a 600 series or higher to be able to run it. You need